Is the Bible reliable? The Bible is a book that is loved around the world. Its followers live in every country and in every climate. Those who read it regularly love its pages and often do not get enough of it. Many even devote their life to the study of it, going after many degrees. But is it a love well placed, or is it an obvious blindsidedness? Is there some real proof that the Bible is reliable? Is it for the people of today? If one is honest, and will take the time to honestly learn the truth, the answer is that there is plenty of proof about the veracity of the Bible. While there are many books that deal with the subject, most know very little about them. Its claim to reliability this is most important, simply because if the Bible claims to be true and it isn't, then it is not reliable. One of the many places that the Bible claims to be infallible is in Psalms 12-6, 7, which says, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever, KJV. Here the Bible is spoken of as being as purified silver, having been refined seven times. In that day, a sevenfold purification process meant the silver had no dross, or error, in it. The next phrase shows how long it will be kept that pure, forever. After having studied the Bible for many years, and looking at it with open, and believing eyes, many find it to be just as was predicted, without error. Here are some ways that we can know the Bible is indeed the Word of God. It is reliable in 1. Its theme from cover to cover the Bible has but one theme, redemption. To have this degree of unification of thought, by 40 different men, who spanned over 1,600 years of time, is most incredible. Redemption is always by faith, through blood. 2. Its historical records. For many years scoffers mocked the Bible because it mentioned a large and very powerful nation called the Hittites. They mocked because there was not one shred of evidence archaeologically that they ever existed. But one day, archaeology caught up with what the Bible taught, and shovelful after shovel began, around the turn of the last century, to uncover the truth. Others have also wondered about Sodom and Gomorrah, until recently. These cities have been found, and yes, they were burned by sulfur and brimstone, near the edge of the Dead Sea, just like God said. Other archaeological findings have revealed seashells at the tops of mountains, all around the earth, sounds like evidence of a worldwide flood, just like the Bible says. 3. Its scientific facts. While it is true that the Bible is not a textbook for a science class, where it does mention science, it is always scientifically correct. Interestingly, many of the facts of science that are referred to, were written more than 700 BC. The Bible speaks of the circle of the earth, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 22 written around 700 BC, of the hydrologic cycle, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verses 6, 7 about 1000 BC, of the wind traveling in circuits, cells, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 6, and physiology, the life of the flesh is in the blood, Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 around 1460 BC. Which if man only believed its truths, they would not have bled George Washington to death. 4. Its prophecies. Many of today's so-called astrologers make very general predictions, simply because that makes it harder to show that they are ever wrong. But the Bible is very different here. First, the Bible declares that if any so-called prophet is ever wrong, then they were not sent by God, Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 20-22. God is not afraid that he will ever be shown to be wrong. A second thing is that the Bible gives very detailed prophecies. Concerning the life of Christ, there were many prophecies. Peter Stoner, once chairman of the departments of math and astronomy at Pasadena City College and at Westmont College however, in his book Science Speaks, wrote of the probability of just eight of these coming to pass. The odds that he calculated, which was verified by the American Scientific Affiliation, was said to be 1 in 10 to the 17th power. This means a 10 followed by 17 zeros, or, to put it in plain English, only one man in 1017 could possibly have fulfilled just 8 of those prophecies. And when you think about it, there are currently only 6 billion people on Earth now. But there were actually more than 400 prophecies, not just 8. In conclusion, it should be easy to say along with David, Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. 
Concerning thy testimonies, I have known that thou hast founded them forever. Psalm chapter 119 verses 151, 152.